welcome back to Scott Sport SPL. <laughs> Ten minutes of football highlights in an hour-long show. <laughs> well, what a week for football. My guests are Graham Spears and Andy Walker. And Graham and Andy, what a week for football. Or was it? Well, one might ruminate or even procrastinate before committing to such assertions. But it's certainly a conundrum wrapped up in a Gordian knot and a question worth ruminating over up there with who really killed Kennedy? Can there really be life in Mars? And why do I continue to appear in this show when I patently can't be asked? <laughs> Andy? Jim? <laughs> no, I mean, Andy, would you like to come in there? Oh, right. Well, first of all, Jim, can I just say that the look of terror in my eyes is genuine. <laughs> and secondly, yes, I hear what Graham is saying, and I would have to say I would go along totally with his opinion, with one slight difference, and that difference being that I completely disagree with everything he's just said. <laughs> Interesting point, Graham. Andy, don't go away. We'll talk more about that later. In the meantime, over to Sarah. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> well, coming up later, you have a chance to win two tickets for a trip to see a Frithampton match of your choice. But first, I wonder what the fans are thinking about whatever it is that has happened this week that I've got to pretend I'm interested in. Well, what it is, is this. So it is, uh, I think, and it's not just me, it's Hunter's other fans as well, I think that the way things are going, if it keeps going the way they're going, then they're going to end up... I'm sorry, I've got to stop you there for technical reasons. The sheen from your plugs is reflecting <laughs> off my lip gloss. You look at me like that one more time, I'll rip your bollocks off. You say Welcome back. Well, probably none of you out there have ever wondered or given a toss about how smelly, manky, filthy professional footballer's kit gets cleaned every week. But we sent Julian along to find out anyway. <laughs> You join me now in the laundry room of Clyde Football Club, where Ina, the laundry woman, is washing the players' kits. So tell me, Ina, is this how you wash the players' kits? Aye. So, talk us through it. Well, I take the dirty washing and, and, and I put it in the washing machine, and then I, I turn on the washing machine. Fascinated. But then what? Well, then when it's finished, I, I, I takes it out and, and I put it in the dryer. It's hardly rocket science. Brilliant. Uh, and tell me, Aina, are you any good at the uh, keepy uppy? Thanks, Julian. We'll be back to see how Aina gets on much, much later in the year. But now it's time for me to cross the studio to the executive lounge where Archie McPherson and Craig Brown are waiting. <laughs> and I bet she goes like a bunny. <laughs> Archie, if I can start with you, any books out this week? Well, uh, actually, Jim, no, uh, I haven't, but uh, I am thinking about bringing one out about the history of dog breeding in Scotland. Really? What's it called? Woof! <laughs> and what about you, Craig? There was talk of you getting back into management with Callie Thistle. Didn't happen. Can you tell us why? Well, James, I, I did give the matter very serious thought, but after I'd done a bit of research up at Inverness, I, I had to conclude that the place was, was sadly lacking in talent. At the club itself? 
Well, no, at the discos. <laughs> they truchterbugs are, are pure hackers, so they are. <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back.